Drop it. <clears throat> what if our food is not enough? What if we don't have enough food one day? How to maintain the sustainability of food so we never die of hunger? Hence the topic of Hence the topic for today. I'm going to talk about the food security in agriculture. So today I'm here with Rabiatu Adawia and also Nuri Nazifa. I'm going to start first with the food uh, the definition of food security. So Food security is defined as by the nation, United Nations Committee on World Food Security means that all people at all times have physical, social and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets their food preferences and dietary needs for an active and healthy life. Food security is a concept that is used to think systematically about how and why malnutrition arises and what can be done to address and prevent it. There are four elements in the food security. The first one is food availability. The availability of sufficient quantities of food or appropriate, of appropriate quality supplied through domestic production or imports. And also it can be affected by production, distribution and exchange. The second one is food access. Individuals and households must be able to acquire sufficient food to be able to eat a healthy, nutritious diet or have access to sufficient resources needed to grow their own food. And also, food access can be affected by affordability, allocation and preferences. The third one is food utilization. Food utilization means food that is educate, uh, adequate diet, clean water, sanitation, and healthcare to reach a state of nutritional well-being where all physio physiological needs are met. This brings out the importance of non-food inputs in food security. And the fourth one, the last one is food stability. Food may be available and accessible to people who are able to utilize it effectively, but to avoid increases in malnutrition and in order for people not to feel insecure, this state of affairs needs to be enduring rather than temporary or subject to fluctuations. The next one uh, uh, will be talked by Ada. Okay, thank you, Ifa. Now, I will talk about the importance and the challenge in the food security. First, I will discuss about the importance in the food security. So, the first is a constant food supply. We want to have a constant food supply in the future because we want to make sure every single household uh, get enough food. If they didn't get enough food supply, it may lead to more problems such as malnutrition or world disease. Sometimes, food shortage that causes by the lack of skills will lead to the inconstant food supply. If it continues to happen, agriculture production will be decreased. So next is to curb malnutrition cases. So what's actually the malnutrition? So malnutrition is the lack of one or more essential nutrients in the food. About 15 million did occur annually due to the malnutrition. Human nutrition is a provision to humans to obtain the material uh, necessary to support life. Uh, for example, uh, childhood malnutrition. It also comment and contribute to the, to the global burden of disease. There are three major causes of malnutrition, include poverty, food price, and di dietary practice, and also agriculture production. So next is the uh, challenge in uh, food security. Ifa, can you help me to... All right. Okay, so the what is the actually challenge in which the food security? So the first one is water scarcity. So water scarcity, which are already spurring heavy grain import in the numerous small countries, may soon do the same in a large country, such as China or India. The water table are falling due to the spread over pumping using powerful diesel and electric pump. The wheel, uh, this will lead to the water scarcity and cut back in the grain harvest. These are, uh, so there are a few countries that have been affected, such as uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and also Iran. Do you know that 28 of the agriculture lines in, uh, lies 
in the water stress region. It takes roughly 1,500 liters of water to produce a kilogram of wheat and about 16,000 liters to produce a kilogram of beef. In 2015, we will need twice as much water. So the last one is the climate change. So extreme, uh, extreme events such as like drought or flood are uh, forecast to increase the climate change. Ranging from overnight flood to greater worsening drought, this will have a range effect, effect on the agriculture sector. According to the Climate Development Knowledge Network, uh, this effect will include changing for productivity, economic losses, and also, of course, our food security. So the food security in future will be linked to our ability to adapt in the agriculture system to extreme weather events. For example, a uh, shifting weather pattern will risk the diminished food supply due to the rise in the temperature. So um, I will pass to my friend to talk about the next part. Uh, Nurin, you can continue. Thank you, Aida. Hi, according to 2019 Global Food Security Index, Malaysia ranked 28 out of 130 countries and in good performance in food security. It good, our country performed good, um, perform good better than our neighboring country. So, we, now we want to look how Malaysia improves food security. First, the government agency and agri entrepreneur are the important person that, hand, that approach food security. They were ensuring sufficient and quality food supply in Malaysia. Federal Agriculture Marketing Authority, which Pharma, is one of the leading agency under the leading agency under the Ministry of Agriculture and Agro-Based Industry that involved in extension activities in food production. The the agriculture entrepreneurs, they, are, they will plan their marketing mix strategy and supply chain management effectively, effectively, effectively. But the second one is urban agriculture. How urban agriculture help us in, in, to improve to approach the food security. They can contribute to the availability of fresh and nutritious food items, reduction in food expenditure, and having direct access to variety of food products. They also growing plant and raising animal within and around cities. So for the next point, okay, next one is Malaysia introducing technology, which is technology can, technology can improve our agriculture and food source. The, if food source if food source is increased, it will it, it will help us to approach food security food scarcity. Robot temperature and moisture sensors, every image and GPS are one of the technology that help us to approach food, food security. This event device and precision agriculture and robotic system allow business to be more profitable, efficient, safer and more environmental friendly. So as the conclusion, food security is making sure that everyone are able to get food without food, food shortage. There are four elements of food security, which are food availability, food access, food utilization, and food stability. And how to improve, uh, how to approach food security by improving agriculture, business, health and nutrition, education, and the environment can help us to improve food security. That's all from me.